Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing zebras. Zebras are related to horses. In fact, they share a genus with horses and donkeys. There are three zebra species, the plains zebra, the mountain zebra, and one with a French name I'm not going to try to pronounce. We'll just go with their other common name, the imperial zebra. Imperial zebras are the largest of the three zebra species. They stand about 5 feet tall at the shoulders and average 800 pounds in weight. The other two species are slightly smaller, standing about 4 feet at the shoulder and averaging about 650 pounds in weight. Their stripes also set them apart. Imperial zebras have tight, thin stripes, while plains zebras have thick, wide stripes. Some plains zebras also have lighter colored shadow stripes between their prominent stripes. Mountain zebras look like a mix of the two, with thin stripes near the front and thick stripes on their rear. They are also the only species with a dewlap on their neck. Apart from appearances, the three zebra species can be told apart by where they live. All three species live in sub-Saharan Africa. As evidenced by their common name, mountain zebras inhabit mountainous regions around Namibia and South Africa. They live up to 6,000 feet above sea level. Imperial zebras and plain zebras prefer flatter terrain. Imperial zebras have small populations in and around arid grasslands of Kenya and Ethiopia, while the more abundant plain zebra ranges throughout most of East Africa. Zebras are easily identifiable by their stripes. It's believed their stripes help deter horseflies by confusing the fly's vision. They also help the herd blend together, making it difficult for a predator to single out an individual. Their stripes are unique, like a human's fingerprints, and researchers use this trait to identify individuals in the field. The question of whether a zebra is black with white stripes or white with black stripes is up for debate. Beneath their fur, they have dark skin. So, what do you think? Zebras travel in family herds, but they have two different systems. Plains and mountain zebras form tight-knit groups in which a single male, or stallion, has a harem of females, or mares, over which he has breeding rights and whom he must protect. These families stay together even during migration times when many family groups gather into huge herds and travel hundreds of miles to better grazing grounds. Imperial zebras, on the other hand, don't form these close attachments. Females and their young are nomadic, while males defend a territory. Females wander through a male's territory and take up residence for breeding and giving birth, but then move on when their babies are ready. Gestation in zebras takes 12 to 14 months. The female will remove herself from the herd and give birth on her own. This gives her baby a chance to recognize her individual stripe pattern. The baby, or foal, can run within its first hour of life. They have to be quick on their feet because they need to keep up with their mother and the rest of the herd. Young zebras are most vulnerable to predation, but they have the protection of their family. Zebras communicate with sounds and gestures such as baring their teeth and flattening their ears. Here are some zebra sounds. When threatened, young and females dash away from a predator while the male hangs back and stands his ground. Male zebras defend their family, or their territory, and will kick a foe if given the opportunity. This kick can gravely injure a would-be predator, so they must be careful in making an attack. Predators to zebras include leopards, cheetahs, lions, hyenas, crocodiles, and more. They're also threatened by habitat loss and competition with livestock for grazing lands. They're also hunted for their meat and skin. Zebras are not ruminants like giraffes, but they have a diverse diet. They eat grasses, twigs, stems, leaves, and more, meaning they are both browsers and grazers. They spend many hours a day eating, and at night they sleep on the ground with one sentinel posted to keep watch for danger. If they can avoid threats, zebras can live to be 10 to 20 years old in the wild. For more facts on zebras, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpeakle93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. Thank you to these viewers for today's request, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.